Hey, what's going on guys? This is me, Asin. Today I'm actually going to be showing you guys my ABC deck profile, but before we start, friendly reminder to like and subscribe because it does motivate me a lot to keep making videos like these. And yeah, let's jump right into it. So as you can see, I'm playing 3 Kakadoodle Doo and 3 Ten Years Spirit Adara. As I kind of mentioned in my combo video, I mean, this deck list is very similar to the one that uh, Edibat actually showed on his channel, but I just really like those tuner special summons. Uh, Quickdraw Synchron has to send a monster, and sometimes you don't really have uh, enough gas in your hand to kind of afford it. But these ones are just like they're really good uh they kind of have the same summoning condition which is uh like a drawback is there another tuner special summon that is free then no uh, there's none <laughs> unfortunately uh, this trudeau would have been nice but you can't always have everything uh once again how many tuners are going to get banned because of needle fiber man this is nuts but three cockadoodle do and three tenue spirit adara definitely makes the most sense uh well, to me at least for now. And then two Galaxy Soldier with the Photon Orbital because honestly, being able to make ABC Dragon Buster with one card just because of Hangar through an Ibiru is pretty damn nice. So uh, they are forced an Ibiru when you summon that second soldier. And because of that, well, you kind of just win the game because then you can just summon Buster, discard one card to banish that Nibiru. And now they have to deal with a Buster, a really stacked hand because that was just a one card combo. They only have five cards now when they're drawing for turn and you have like an Ibiru token. Does, it doesn't really do anything, but you, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. So yeah, pretty nice. And then I have that, uh, obviously, that Black Spider Zombie which is involved in the combos. If Jet Synchron was actually a thing, the combo would, uh, would be a little bit cleaner because Jet Synchron would actually be able to combo itself. But unfortunately, Black Spider, not too great. I mean, even if you play El Mirage, Needle Fiber doesn't really achieve much on its own because you can't really special summon other good tuners. I mean, there are good tuners that you can special summon out there, but then your deck actually gets denaturalized and you're not really playing an EBC deck anymore. So even playing that one Plague Spirit or Zombie doesn't really feel too nice and too clean. But to be fair, the amount of like quote unquote bad cards in just any deck is always going to be like a thing. Even Photon Orbital is not, you know, it's not too classy. Union Driver, it's not a good card to draw. Gamma, uh, sorry, Driver. You know, there's there, every single time you look at a deck, there's always a few cards that you're like, okay, I wish I could actually like live without them, but you kind of have to, de uh, d you know, live with that. So yeah, as for the letters, uh, oh, sorry, actually, it's not supposed to be 2-3-3. Uh, it's actually supposed to be 232, so this should actually probably be cut for. Uh, I like unauthorized um, uh, something that the, the spell, but I mean, it's not too great. Like, even Monster Reborn, I mean, yeah, I already play it. So, you should probably cut this, or if you really want to, you can play like a third A, but definitely don't play 233, yeah? Just Buster Drake is the only one that really deserves to be a 3 of. The other ones are just not uh, too fantastic. I really thought I was actually playing uh, 232. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm just really not uh, awake. Oh, hold on. Wow, 118, man. 118 in the morning, and I wake up at like 840 every single day, so really drained as you can see obviously but uh yeah just definitely play like another card instead it's not too too hard to figure out honestly it's uh, at least you have like the you know the juice of the deck so yeah then of course that uh, union driver which isn't the best to open someone actually reminded me that this card has 2100 attack so you can revive it back with next year would have been really nice if you could actually special send back a buster with next year but once again can't always have everything man the cyber abc I don't know how good the synergy is. I mean, it could be there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, being able to send like two letters with Rampage is pretty fantastic. So don't worry, by the way. I will be making a Cyber Dragon ABC deck profile and combo video and test hand very, very soon. I just need a bit of time to like, like breathe and be able to make the other videos that I scheduled f like first. Uh, so there will be that. There will be zombie uh, combo. And then there will be... <laughs> Elemental Hero FTK. <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't want to like spoil too many details. I mean, I think I have it. I didn't even like, you know, do the entire combo yet. But uh, I should I should have it uh, in a couple of days. I hope. Uh, but it, it, it's going to be quite tricky. You need a, a couple of cards to have the full setup. Anyways, moving forward, upstart obviously three ash three infinite three gamma. Uh, I mean. And these two dodged the call by the grave, but now that people are going to have more incentive to play three tactical talents instead, only this is like safe from everything, and then Ash and Gamma are just not too great. 
Uh, honestly, I just don't like hand traps like overall. It's just that there's nothing that you can really play outside of that because it's a going first deck, so you can't really play Dark Ruler, especially since this deck might actually break. Like sometimes you get interrupted once and then you have to pass, and hand traps at least allow you to survive. Whereas if you had like a Dark Ruler instead, then you have a blank and then it just facilitates your opponent to OTK. So that's definitely not what uh, we want to allow our opponent to do. Uh, but uh, hand traps are okay ish. Uh, if you obviously if you, if you draw like driver or something then plex better just puts it back on the top of the deck uh, well i mean you draw a card first and then you put it on top of the deck so yeah i just didn't really uh explain myself too much when i when i said it in my combo video sorry anyways a three for ben and drop uh, yeah I mean, pretty much going to be in almost every single one of my deck list i do believe that this is a true staple it's not like ash ash isn't really a staple honestly uh, it's once per turn, you have to draw it in your opening 5, and then any time after that it becomes underwhelming, and it doesn't really affect too many decks, and sometimes it is just not the card that allows you that, like allows you to survive. Like, your opponent doesn't go from, like, making 5 negates to making, like, 0 negates with an, just 1 ash. And if your game plan is to draw 3 hand shops with your 2-card engine every single time, you're doing everything wrong, so yeah. Forbidden Drop is just a card that allows you to actually play Yu-Gi-Oh! through already established boards. So the correct thing to do usually when you deck build is like a combination of everything. Uh, so, I mean, sometimes, uh, <laughs> obviously. Uh, Infinite, I feel like, is the easiest one to play because you can even draw it for turn. And Gamma can kind of protect nothing. <laughs> uh, who's ashing Hanger? Nobody. If he ashes Hanger and you Gamma, your combo's even better, so <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Anyways, uh, Call by the Grave, yeah, sure, Terraforming. You can actually play three Tactical Talents, now that I think of it, so you can put Crush Wyvern to two, and then maybe cut the Monster Reborn and, like, something else, then play two. You can play two uh, TTT, honestly. You know, nothing forces you to play three just because you are allowed to play up to three copies of a card. This logic never made sense, to be honest. I mean, it's just easier to justify playing a card as a three of, because at least you're saying, like, I really want to draw it, but then when it's a card that's like a hard ones per turn makes it a little bit less sense I mean, you could kind of say the same thing with ash and Ga I mean, gamma doesn't really count because there's like a garnet like associated to it but ash i guess is a perfect example of a card that you don't have to play three <laughs> like you can get away with two and to a certain extent that is mathematically correct more often than not but um in the decks that i personally play i never play ash i never play hand traps outside of infinite maybe because it is a hand trap that doesn't have the typical hand trap weaknesses you know what i'm trying to say right it doesn't lose to appaloosa it doesn't lose to call by the grave it doesn't lose to three tactical talents so kind of cheats the system and it allows you to actually you know it's it's kind of like a guaranteed you have it you know it's resolving it veiler you're crossing your fingers and ash you're just hoping that it's enough and uh, infinite covers a lot of ground because you can use it on anaconda and once again if you draw it for turn you can use it on something that that actually annoys you and then you can play and yeah I just I just like it a lot also being able to like negate a column is a very uh, underrated effect of infinite because it does actually come up sometimes randomly against like guru and some weird stuff like that so <laughs> yeah anyways uh, the rest of the deck is just very logical of course emergency teleport when you can summon that gamma is just that uh, it's a given I already stated uh, like the import I mean I already said how important uh, cards like emergency teleport uh, are in any deck that make needle fiber because obviously when that psychic monster is like a free special summon with like literally no drawbacks then obviously you're trying to play a card like that monster reborn not too great but you can actually like recover some pretty good cards with it so why not it's good in the late game and in the early game it's all right ish so yeah Anyways, for the idea, uh, sorry, extra deck, oh my god, two busters because I can't play three, shooting riser that's involved in the combo, dragster, it's cool if you make it with martial marcher and then crush wyvern, summon a monster and then make mascarena, because I do not play Mudra muddy mud dragon in this deck list, uh, it was just too much space in the extra deck, uh, I mean, it's still cool to be honest, you can't play it, it's just, I don't know, I, I like making like mascarena, infinity buster, it's also a very good, but I love with, with like dragster, when your hands are like really really good, you can do all of that. Which is very sick, so yeah. And then Cyrus Integrator draws one card, Marshall Marcher, <laughs> uh, Daigusto Emerald, shuffles back your Buster, so that's kind of why it is there. So, fun fact by the way, you can revive back a driver. So, <laughs> sometimes you have two level 4 monsters on your field, you're just like, I just need to deal damage. And then, yeah, you revive back driver, attack, game. So, it's stupid, comes up though. 
and Infinity Nova because of the Galaxy Soldiers. The Photon Orbital, by the way, it's there for Union Carrier. You just send it to the grave and then search a Galaxy Monster uh, because you equip with, with thanks to that. Um, then Access Code Talker, Unicorn because of Masquerina, Needle Fiber because of the combo, Union Carrier obviously, and then Link Cross, Banana. And for the idea section, I know people don't even watch my deck profiles like that much because like I said, on, like my average view duration for deck profile, since it is kind of like just a like a screen on Edeo Pro, people don't really watch too much. They just click on like pause and then they copy the deck list. So that's why I almost feel like putting in the effort for deck profiles doesn't really make sense. But the thing is, I want to reward people who are working hard and really want to learn. And that's why I'm trying my best to give the explanations, even though it is like strategically not optimal. Yeah, from like a YouTuber's standpoint, but... I'm trying to act more as a friend than as a YouTuber, so yeah, anyways, uh, Quick Draw Synchron uh, is like a good idea because, like I said, if you just want more like special summons because these kind of conflict with each other, by the way, yes, uh, Kakodoodle do indeed, it was played because of Ancient Fairy Dragon, and Ancient, Ancient Fairy Dragon was actually banned during kind of like that format, the one that actually involved uh, Spirals as well, because <laughs> they were doing unfair things, they were popping Ravine which was like a one card Ancient Fairy Dragon because of Destrudo and then, I mean, one card like, you know, you know what I'm trying to say and then, you know, it would get that spiral uh, field spell and then you would just pop off it was, it was BS indeed, but yeah uh, Ghost Ogre, that's just one extra card to summon off of uh, Emergency Teleport, it's, especially if you're not trying to play Gamma, so not too bad. Dark Magician with Red Eyes Fusion and Red Eyes Black Dragon for the Dragoon Package, just like three extra bricks, so unless you're playing like a lot of Mulligan cards, it's not too worth it. Well, once again, Plague Spirit or Zombie is really cool at getting back your Red Eyes Fusion on the top of your deck, uh, because like you can always draw your card first and then, you know, just do your plays like that. And then Foolish Burial, I don't really know why I would be main decking this card anymore, it's not too great. Uh, Muddy Man Dragon Dragoon, uh, Invoked Murkaba, Cypher Him Lord Omega, I don't know why this is here. Uh, it doesn't really come up too often. I mean, technically, you could summon it. You can actually, I mean, one cool thing is that you can, like, put back ABC Buster from your graveyard to your extra deck while you're putting back Omega there. So, uh, you can summon it by using Galaxy Soldier and Martial Marcher, and then you would be using Plague Spreader Zombie with your uh, other Galaxy Soldier in order to make. Dragster, yes, that was the combo. If you don't want to make Novan into Infinity, that is definitely like something respectable that you can do. So yeah, and then uh, I play uh, Tornado Dragon and Mechanic with Crusader Astrum as like options because they are relatively easy to summon, especially when you tag out your Buster. I mean, if you tag out your Buster, you already win. So why would you deck build a, like a full deck? Assuming that you're tagging out Buster every time, you need to get to that Buster. You don't need to like. <laughs> pop off like real hard when you actually get there so you know what I'm trying to say but that's pretty much it for the deck profile uh, if you guys have any comments or feedback let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe because it does motivate me a lot to keep making videos like these thank you for watching I'll see you next time peace